Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the Oakensoul Ring. This is a new mythic item that will drop with the High Alt chapter and it will make one bar builds a lot stronger. I will also showcase where you can get this thing. On azurehyphenup.com in the build section, if you actually search for all cast for my stuff, I basically have all my one bar builds on Ezohub. So all of these are one bar builds that you can go check out and see if you like one or not. The ring really makes the setups or like the builds a lot more powerful. If you're looking for the ring, it is also on the website. Everything is here, like all the major buffs are explained and the lead locations. So, let's first dive into what it actually does. So you can see, while equipped, you are unable to swap between your primary and backup weapon sets. So, when you're focusing on one bar builds, this is not really even a, like a downside, because you're on one bar anyway. But in return, you get a but load of like buffs and like some of these major buffs are just insane so let's quickly go through them major protection reduces your damage taken by 10 percent that is huge so that alone is already very very strong major force 20 percent more critical damage done also huge like most of these buffs are just juicy for solo players or even people that play in groups of course if you're playing wet content or even wet hard mode content like trials most of these buffs are already present in groups but if you're playing alone you usually don't have access to these things so it really boosts the damage and like it will be so easier to survive because of all the damage mitigation you get we have major berserk 20 10% uh, more damage then we have sorcery and major brutality 20% spell damage 20% weapon damage we have minor endurance 15% stamina recovery major savagery 12% more weapon crit major courage 430 more weapon damage and spell damage minor fortitude 15% health recovery major resolve 6,000 basically 6,000 physical and spell resistance prophecy 12% spell crit major heroism this thing is also juicy as hell like you're gonna push out ultimates insanely fast a minor intellect 15% on the website if you actually go check out these different buffs like heroism or protection you can actually see where you can get these from and you will notice like major berserk it isn't that easy to get especially not a hundred percent uptime right same with major heroism like there is barely any skill that even gives that thing and a few sets protection same thing like it's so hard to get these buffs that's why the ring is so choosy, especially for one bar builds when you're playing solo or when you're doing dungeons in un unoptimized groups. Like all these buffs will just choose up everything. Of course, when we look at things like major sorcery or major brutality, uh, major savagery or prophecy, so crit spell weapon crit and weapon spell damage. You usually also get these from potions. Uh, let me actually check. Do I have any here? Da -da. Maybe not. Yeah, here, these here, for example. So these are like spell, spell power potions. And these give you major intellect, major sorcery, and major prophecy. Right. So you also don't really need to use expensive potions anymore. So it also saves you a lot of money on top of that but the major buffs that stand out for me major protection major force major berserk but, uh, major heroism and major courage like these are really hard to get usually and now we just get them for free pretty much where do you get 
the mythic item. So it is a mythic item. That means you will need five leads. When we look at the leads list, so far we know three. The Igneos inlays is in High Isle. And you basically just have to go to any of the world events. Which is the volcanic events. It's called volcanic events. The world events. They're spread all over the map. Doesn't have 100% drop chance. Keep in mind, so you might have to try a few times. Larimar Chems is in Stormhaven. That's up there in the south. You gotta kill the mud crab. I had to kill it three times before it dropped. But yeah, it's not 100% drop chance. Sacred Resin is in Malabal Tor. You can kill any mob. I actually got this after like 10 minutes just killing any monster I saw. So it has a fairly good drop chance. And the last two we don't know yet. But once we know, we will obviously drop it on the website and let you know. There is a lot of leads. Uh, high Isle leads. We also do have a list here that we will update. There's also a list on Alcos HQ that we are usually updating with all the items. On day one, day two, you can join our community Discord. And if you find a lead, please report it to us so we can add it to these different lists. So it will be fairly easy to collect all of them like one, two days after launch. It usually takes one to two days to find them all. If a lead isn't found in week one, it usually means it's buggy. But in case, that doesn't happen. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the Oaken Soul Ring. Have you actually tested this out? Like, have you tested out the ring on the PTS? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, check out alkashq.com and ezohyphenup.com. We have a lot of content on here. All the Tales of Tribute card game stuff is also on the website with all the cards. Like we have them all listed up, what they do, how you can get the different decks. Some of them are fairly hard to get, some of them are easier to get. Basically everything you need to know. The new companions are also here, Amber and Isabel, if you want to check out their skills. It's all listed up. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.